Sneaky FX here. I'm going to show you how to make shapes in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to show you how to make like a Xbox controller. So you can have like a MLG logo like T2. And be all cool. Alright, just make the new document. Because first we're just going to trace the shape or whatever you want to trace. You could. People do this with a bunch of stuff like different guns. And first, you get the pen tool, and when you're using the pen tool, you only want to select or put very few points. You want to keep it as little as possible, or else it looks very like it looks like you're doing you're trying too hard, and there's too many like weird spots that you don't want them to be. And then you're gonna want to convert it to smooth edges and. Just line it up with the controller so it looks about right. And I'm just going to do this really quickly. You could take more time on it or whatever. Alright, so I'm just going to mess around with the points a little bit to make it line up as good as possible. And also, if you d think you want to delete a point or you want, you think there should be like an extra one, you could just slide over and you could delete or add. Like, I'll just add one right here. And good uh, uh, alright whatever that's fine for now cause you know, it doesn't have to be no I'm just gonna do this quick and you're gonna wanna fill the path and you just make it the foreground color it doesn't really matter and then you got that little tracing and then you want to go to edit, define custom shape, and then you got like your little controller. You could do this with anything really. And now you could. Now you have the shape. And also, if you wanted to do this in like Illustrator, I already traced it. But you just grab it and press Control and drop it on it. And then it'll take a little bit to get ready. Yeah, and. Then once you have this, um, press enter to place it, and you can get rid of, you get rid of this, and you have, and then you go to image, no wait, I mind, I did that wrong. You're going to want to click this, click, copy it with control C, and then control V, and then do it as a shape layer, and then you got that, and then you can, and then you just go to edit, define custom shape, alright, and then if you want to make like a little logo, I used our 200 by 200, and then you could eventually make it smaller. And if you just go to your custom shapes, you already have it. I made a few of them. This is the one I made in Photoshop. Uh, right. And if you're making a logo, you could just make it like on its side or whatever. And you might want to make start off by making the shape in a bigger document, so it's not pixelated when you make it bigger. And like if you could make it so that it looks neater or whatever. And then you could just be like, MLG.
you could just do that and you could cut that out put the logo delete it whatever and you could just make like drop shadow yeah. whatever you could just mess around with this to make like a little logo I'm just doing like a, an example of what you could do. And then... I use one of these. Pretty nice, or whatever. You could make it neater. Whatever. And I accidentally made that CMYK. You can't have CMYK with the lighting effects, so that's why I'm doing this. And then you do lighting effects and make a, like a little light, like a flashlight in the middle to make it like that. And then you go apply the image again. Apply the image again. <laughs> and then like mess around with it or whatever you want to do. I'm just messing around, and you could have like a little light. You could do anything really. And also, a lot of people make like little logos like this with like the UMP or something. They just trace it, or they get a pre-vectored image. Or but now you could trace it and do whatever, and you could have like your own little logo and actually know how to make it. And like, cause a lot of people just copy stuff. Thank you for watching.